the rate that I actually get through things like this. A two terabyte Seagate storage will last me a month, maybe. <laughs> Not long at all, but it's a part of the job. What's up guys, Liam here, welcome back to LSJ TV. We are starting off today's video with a bit of editing. I'm editing the next episode of the Best Gym series. I've got two of them to edit. One of mine, well two of the same gym, one of mine and one of UFB's. Uh, both UFB's video and obviously my own video as well will be edited by myself. Uh, and if you have not already, please go and check out the yearly review. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, on the UFB page, it's just basically a, a review of 2021 for everything that we did for UFB. Obviously, I, I kind of took control of their social media and stuff, and it's just been an awesome experience. And so, putting it all together in one video, one was mental, and two was it's a pretty cool watch. So, go over and uh, enjoy, drop a like, all that kind of stuff, you know. But for today, it's going to be a good one. You guys see the title like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I appreciate you all. I'm gonna get to editing. And on with the video. Right, I'm not going to try and be a weirdo because this is quite a young girl, but don't worry, it's, it's my cousin. Alright, relax. Mental. Did I cry? Yes, Lauren. Lauren Spencer Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Remember the name. That is my little cousin. She lives in Canada and she is about to top the charts here in the UK with her new song, Fingers Crossed. If you don't know what I'm talking about, head to the charts right now. It will be there. I don't know what number it's going to be at because she's competing with that A, B, C, D, E, F, U. And Ed Sheeran and loads of other ridiculous names and she is essentially like, I mean she's not come out of nowhere, she's got 3 million followers on TikTok but she's essentially come out of nowhere, like she wasn't in the running and then she released this song and it's literally like, it's number one right now, like right now, but tomorrow is the official chart. By the time this video comes live, I don't even miss you anymore, so I, I cried. Also just... A really good song like it's a really good I don't know if she wrote it uh, it's mental it's mental though to see someone like see a family member killing it like that is like that is made it made it that's like topping the charts like actual doesn't doesn't get much better than that you know mental congratulations Lauren you're not gonna be watching this video you're far too busy however very very proud mental mental so today um i have a fair bit to do we have got to head to the gym i uh, got a new equipment delivery from the gym today i'm gonna have some orange juice with my breakfast so i'm gonna be recording that for the gym i'll show you guys that uh, a little bit later some ufb content some media content uh, and also i've just got editing to do so you know we're gonna be talking a little bit later about my cardio routine but first let's crack on with the day i'm gonna get some oats and get started. I need to stop talking to my camera and actually sort myself out. Okay, let's do this. As always, we are gonna go for salt and caramel for today. Two scoops. Please use code LSJ at checkout. Can't do this one handed. Okay. We have bought a brand new, from what I understand, bicep kill that you have to do <laughs> from the floor. Like this. Up, 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 you got to move that. No, you just can't. Don't rest there. Don't rest there. You can only get two here. You can only get two here. <laughs> okay, 
another great addition to the infamous USB leg rim. We've got a brand new hammer strip leg extension. Just arrived now, hot off the press. So give it a go. Oh yeah, perfect. So go and build big legs, come down to fit fitness. Give it a go. Fuck it out. How many are you done? Oh yeah. Five more. Bro, just keep pulling. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How many is that? I thought it was 20. Um five. I'll fucking do. Reps for Jesus. Reps for Jesus. Oh my god. Right, gym done. Uh, you have to excuse the fans. There's a really loud fan in here. It's why I very rarely um, record in the in the bathroom here at the flat. But I'm gonna have a quick shave now because this and this just just it just don't match. You know, don't know if you guys have noticed throughout the video. Um, generally speaking, when I go for a haircut, which I have done, um, I leave my shave till after the haircut, right? Purely because it then grows at a nice kind of even speed, and then for a few days, I just have to not really worry about it because my hair and my Facial hair are uh, kind of the same length, you know? So, I'm gonna, have quick, whoa, I'm gonna have a quick shave now, and then we'll get to the topic of today's video. Alrighty, Roo. I am back. Not back, I didn't go anywhere. I am finished with my shave. And it is on to the topic of today's video. In fact, I'm gonna open that. I, know, I never use this, I don't know why I have it in. Uh, but anyway. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm bringing back the flips. Hold on, I'm bringing them back. Not my best work, but it will do. Oh, oh you tell you what, you flip a command and it's risky business, you know. Risky business. Anyway, the topic of today's video is plain and simple. My new cardio routine for 2022. I bought this to start my own flat home gym um, not so long ago, maybe a couple of months ago now, and I have absolutely loved it. A lot of the days, it's given me a reason to kind of get out of bed, you know, to get out and do something, to, to get up when it's too cold and I don't want to go for a walk. I love walking, just as a general rule. In lockdown one, I really kind of grew to enjoy just going for a walk, not even with with Jessie because Jessie had a poor paw, a poorly paw at the time, so she couldn't come with me and I just went anyway, you know. I, I became really fond of, of actually going for, for walks, it kept me sane, you know. Another thing that I did in lockdown one is go on the spin bike every single day. Well, not every single day, a, a lot of the time, most days, more often than not, I would go down to the home gym, jump on the spin bike, watch a YouTube video, respond to emails, respond to comments, all that kind of stuff. It would give me structure, it would give me time to plan my day, to plan my week sometimes, to plan the video that I was gonna film that day. All of that kind of stuff, you know, I've got all of that done on the spin bike. Um, and I plan on doing that again in 2022 because it kind of, I don't wanna sound dramatic, but like it saved me, you know, it kept me sane in, in lockdown, having that structure and that routine. Um, I'm not majorly routine orientated, I like to be kind of spontaneous with basically everything that I do. I don't like my life to be too regimented, hence being self-employed and all this kind of stuff. But having a little bit of structure definitely does help everybody, um, 100%. I mean, well, maybe not everyone, but it definitely helps me. So it might help you, give it a go. But this trusty spin bike here, which I picked up a few weeks ago now, will be my cardio of choice. I'm going to be doing that two to three times per week for the foreseeable future, right? I'm not going to be going crazy. I'm basically going to, I'm probably going to have the dial maybe on four or five, nothing too steady, nothing too steady, nothing too difficult, should we say. I'll put it right at the top for the sake of this, but like, you know, I'm just going to be pedaling, just getting my heart rate up ever so slightly, a couple of times a week, two, three times a week at most. And um, it's not going to be a majorly like, heat kind of session, I know it's a spin bike, I'm not going to be doing any spin classes. Um, I will eventually move this bike into the spare room, but to be honest, it's not in anyone, I'm here on my own, it's not any in anybody else's way except mine. So if I can't be able to move it, 
because it doesn't really bother me that much, then I might just keep it here. But, you know, it does kind of ruin the aesthetic of quite a, a nice flat, you know. But, I'll wind up putting it in the spare room eventually, but for now, I'm quite enjoying just putting YouTube on the telly there and just spinning away, you know, first thing in the morning. So, I'll wake up around about eight-ish, jump on this at around about half eight-ish, and then get to my laptop for about nine. Um, that is what I've done a couple of times a week for the past couple of weeks, and that is basically all I will be doing for the foreseeable because I haven't really put an, any weight on over Christmas. Well, I haven't put any weight on over Christmas, which is very nice. Having said that, I wasn't happy with the position that I was in before Christmas, so likewise, I'm still not entirely happy with it, but concussion and all that kind of stuff, fuck concussion campaign is in full swing, ladies and gentlemen, so we are gonna be training as much as we possibly can, uh, keeping calories and nutri or just nutrition in general um, as consistent as we possibly can, all the while bearing in mind that I'm gonna be going for drinks, going for cocktails, going for nights out and just food and, you know, having a social life because the gym is a massive, massive part of my life. Yes, it is how I technically pay a lot of my bills. However, it is just a part of my life. Like someone at the gym actually said to me yesterday, he was like, how are you a bodybuilder and you don't prioritize your nutrition? I was like, I'm not a bodybuilder. I enjoy going to the gym, but I'm not a bodybuilder, you know? I would love to compete one day, but it's more of a bucket list thing for me rather than a kind of occupation, should we say. Whereas technically it is my occupation because I'm a my protein athlete, right? But it's kind of, it's a kind of really weird, it's a really weird kind of gray area on social media where people like me are actually in the fitness industry, but fitness is, is not my sole focus, if that makes sense. It's really bizarre. Um, but anyway, two, three times a week, uh, I will be on this bike here, steadily pedaling away, just burning a few more calories, getting the heart rate up for a half hour, something like that. May, it'll be anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes. I don't think I'll do much less than 20, but I don't think I'll ever really do any more than 45. Um, just how I feel, and depending on how I feel, sorry, and how much I've got to do with the rest of my day. Um, sometimes I get to a certain stage where if I'm on my phone, right, responding to emails, I responded to all my emails and I've done like 25 minutes, so I'll just get off. Like, I'm not saying, oh, I'm gonna go nuts for five minutes and then that'll be that, you know? Um, it depends, it all depends on how I'm feeling. It's all fairly relaxed. But one thing I am going to do this year is definitely up my cardio when it comes to the dieting. Um, intentionally start going at a certain revolutions per minute on the bike, start going at a certain heart rate per minute on my Apple Watch or whatever, things like that, you know, so that I can track my, my weight loss um, a lot easier when the time comes because I have decided I'm gonna get a little bit leaner this year. In 2022, I'll have an entire separate video on it, my plans with it, or maybe I'll get Cyan on it or something because I think I'll be taking advice from just about everyone down at that gym because there's a hell of a lot of knowledgeable people. You've got Sai, you've got Dean, Ricky's been helping me a lot lately. Everyone knows their stuff, you know, everyone really, really knows their stuff. They've been training and a lot of them have been using the good stuff, you know, for longer than I've even been alive. So they've got enough experience to freaking wipe their asses with, you know, they've been training for a long time. A lot of them have. Um, I'm, the, I'm the newbie new kid on the block when it comes to training down at UFB. But anyway, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the plan uh, for the foreseeable future. What are we on now? Like early January? So that would be the plan until at least maybe mid-March, mid to end of March, something like that. Depends how the year goes because some things, some opportunities may arise where it makes sense for me to be a little bit leaner than what I am right now. So I may start dieting a little bit earlier, but personally, I'm just enjoying training right now, enjoying coming back from the, the whole concussion malarkey. The recovery has been a long, long, long recovery. It's been five months now. Um, and basically, I'm just looking forward to, to seeing the back of it because and I'm sick of it, if I'm honest with you. I'm sick of it dominating my life. It's dominating my life for too friggin' long, and I'm not gonna let it anymore. I'm gonna be getting up, using the spin bike, I'm gonna be doing my weights as much as I possibly can, within reason. I'm not going to failure like a crazy person, like I kind of was before concussion. But anyway, it is what it is. That's gonna be that, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a massive favor, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe. If you are new, stay tuned for the next video, which will be the best gym series. The return of it, episode 11, another gym in Birmingham. We're gonna be trying it out. Myself, Sai, and a few of the UFB family were there on um, New Year's Eve. So be sure to check that one out. Sai's already uploaded his video, go check that out. Um, so you can kind of get a little spoiler of where the location is. But for now, I will keep it secret in case you don't see that and um, I will see you in the next one. Thank you all so much. Together we will grow. Let me know what you want to see me make next in the comment section down below. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll say it again, together we will grow.
appreciate you. And on to the next one. Ah, LSJ, check out.